Sean, talk a little bit about the issue of um, the so-called outside agitators or out-of-town agitators. Okay. I, I would like everybody to use a little common sense here and think about what is being said against the Citizens' Bill of Rights and some of the people that are, are foremost into the fight for the, our rights. Um, let's think about what is going on and what is being said. The mayor says that, uh, that it's outside agitators are coming in from somewhere else and causing these problems with him and with the uh, promoting of the Citizens' Bill of Rights, which he's still saying that will not, will, will create jobs, which we ha haven't had any real jobs made in the last couple of years. I want people to think about who are the people that have everything to gain from defeating the Citizens' Bill of Rights and who don't, the people that are proposing and proponents of the Citizens' Bill of Rights. What have they got to gain? We're looking at it, the environment of the city, the safety of the people, the health of the people, the health of our children and our grandchildren for the future here. Um, these people that they're calling um, outside agitators, they've lived in this city for over 20 years. You know, what do they, they're not making any money out of this. They're, this is free time, voluntary for the whole group. The uh, people that have, who has money to gain and monetary gain from this uh, by promoting, you know, fracking in the city. Who's making the money? Who's, who's you know, putting the money into it. On the other side, tell me who's making money, who's got anything to gain monetarily from it, from uh, opposing the fracking and stuff. And I can't think of anything else to say right now. <laughs> but, uh, okay, know. well, thank you very much. That, mm -hmm. are, that is um, some very thoughtful questions. We all need to think about this. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. Thank you.